Hey guys, welcome to the FightH channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close, thanks for supporting me, guys. As you heard, the promoter of former British heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua explained why they chose American Jermaine Franklin when choosing the next opponent for AJ. We had a lot of contenders for Joshua, Dempsey Maki and Otto Wallin, but it all came down to style. AJ had spent the last two fights with a lefty, and now he wanted to fight with an orthodox fighter. Still, the main argument was, and the training team took it to attention, that Anthony was going to fight Dante Wilder. Dylan White and Tyson Fury. Therefore, it makes no sense to come back in a fight with a lefty. So Joshua must demonstrate in the next fight everything he was worked on and must do in a fight with an orthodox fighter. Obviously, the duel between Franklin and White will be a great reference point for us. We will understand where we are. We know that Jermaine is a world-class heavyweight. There is no doubt about it. Franklin is still relevant. He was active after the fight with White, and the British fans know well who he is. Jermaine is a talented fighter, Hiron said. Famous British boxer Tony Bellew shared his opinion on the fight between the former world heavyweight champion, his compatriot Anthony Joshua, and the American Jermaine Franklin. Jermaine is smaller than Joshua and far from the strongest puncher. Stylistically, it suits AJ well. Anthony needs to start making matches that benefit him, and I think this is one of them. Yes, Jermaine had a close fight with Dylan White. I don't agree with those who claim that he won, but it was very close. So let's see how it ends this time. Franklin is not the strongest fighter. So many people consider this fight a humiliation. But we need to see where Joshua is, Bellew said. The British coach Dominic Ingle believes that former world champion Anthony Joshua will never return to the top of the heavyweight division. For me, I don't think we will ever see the best of Anthony Joshua again. I think he's past his peak. And there may be several reasons at once. Wealth, lack of proper concentration, lack of ability to learn something new. I don't think we will ever see him at the top again. When you go on a winless streak, you feel invincible, and that makes a big difference, especially when you need to get up from your knees. I think Anthony Joshua did well, but to be honest, he had a very easy path to championship fights, Ingle said. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. If you really enjoy the content, then please. Subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos. If you are subscribed, then receive notifications about the release of new videos. You do not even have to look for anything personally. I really want to get 10,000 subscribers on my channel. I'm trying very hard absolutely every day and I need your support. Your likes, comments, reposts to social networks. Thanks for supporting me, guys. Swedish heavyweight Otto Wallin commented on the official announcement of the fight of former heavyweight world champion Anthony Joshua against American Jermaine Franklin. I think it was expected. There have been rumors about this fight for some time. To be honest, I think it makes sense for Joshua, as he is coming back after two defeats. His team is not aiming to give him a hard fight right now. Franklin gave his all in the fight with Dylan White. It seemed that he won that duel. Now he got a chance to fight Joshua. Anthony is an obvious favorite for me. I think he will win by a knockout. We will see what Jermaine does. I consider him a fighter with certain skills and abilities. So we will see how it goes, Wallen said. American heavyweight Jermaine Franklin reacted to the announcement of a fight against the former two-time world champion of his division, Britain Anthony Joshua. Franklin believes that he should have been at the top of his weight class for a long time and is ready to prove it in the upcoming fight. Jermaine is confident that he will be able to win an early victory in a fight with a famous opponent. I'm ready to show the world why it's time for me to take my place at the top of the heavyweight division. Joshua had time, but now it's mine to shock the world. This fight will not reach the judges card. On April 1st, I will get my 22nd victory. There is not an April Fool's joke, said Franklin. American heavyweight Jermaine Franklin has questioned the track record of his future opponent, 
former British world champion Anthony Joshua. I don't want to accuse Joshua now that he is dodging Wilder, but it was strange to watch him when there were discussions about their fights. Besides, he never got into a fight with Tyson Fury. In boxing, you need to be much more business savvy than many people think. This is something more than just two guys decided to fight. AJ has a good resume, but still there are enough dubious fights, Franklin said. Well-known journalist and insider Dan Raphael named that the reason why Brit and Tyson Fury can't announce the next fight. They hoped that they will be able to make the fight official and hold it on April 29th. As far as I know, their site agreed with everything and signed the contract. There are no problems, but that doesn't mean there are even serious problems on Fury's part. Besides, they still don't know where the fight will take place. Obviously, if the fight takes place at Wembley, it's one money, and if somewhere in the Middle East, it's completely different. This all changes the structure of the case. The main thing is that now the parties have decided on the venue of the battle. You won't be able to fight if you don't have a place to put the ring. They have a deadline when everything has to be resolved. In addition, fans should also have time, especially if the fight takes place in the Middle East. They have to plan everything – tickets, flights, accommodation the journalist said. Frank Warren, top promoter of the WBC, WWE champion of the British Tyson Fury, shared his plans for his word after the fight. Last week I was happy to announce the fight of Big Joe and John Gilly. Of course, we really hope that Joyce will stay on the way to the fight against Tyson Fury, and they will have a date in the summer at Wembley. That's the plan if Tyson takes the free belt and Joe Joyce does his job in the fight with Gilly. Warren said. Former UFC heavyweight champion Francis Nagano posted a photo on social networks showing former WBC heavyweight champion Dante Wilder, WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, and Anthony Joshua. Who's next? I chose. The Cameroonian signed the photo. I remember Nagano was unable to negotiate with the UFC and became a free agent. He left in the status of the champion of the organization. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.